Okay, so this is going to be your last part of Vedic Maths to boost your calculation speed. Now, in the last segment, what we have learned, the uh, multiplication of three digits. Now, in multiplication of three digits, I have told you that there are three um, one, two, one, two, one rules. That means suppose A, B, C and X, Y, Z we're multiplying it. So first you have to multiply this, then cross multiply this, then cross multiply of three digits, then cross multiply of last two digits, then again multiplication of last two digits. So let's take an example first. Suppose two, three, two multiplied by three, one, four. Every calculation try to solve orally. First four into two, four into two means eight okay next three into four plus two into one three into four means 12 plus two into one means two that means 14 right four 14 is four then carry one now the task is to cross multiply three digits three into two six Four into yeah. two, eight mm -hmm. and three. Yeah. Eight plus six, 14 plus three. Seven. 17 plus one, 18. One. 18. 18's eight, then carry one. Yeah. Then again, cross multiplication of last two digit. Three cross three, mm -hmm. nine plus two into one, two, 11. 11 plus one, 12, two carry one and last two into three six plus one seven initially you were thinking that it's too much calculation but in general process if you want to calculate then you have to first multiply with four then write this then one write this then three write this then you have to add this right yeah. if you practice some questions with this concept i'm sure your calculation speed will be far better let's try this I'm giving you some question, try to solve this. First question, okay. nine, four, two, cross eight, three, one. So you can tell me digits from last from unit digit. Uh, seven nine two eight zero two. I'm telling it from the starting. Seven, seven nine two. Are you sure it's not seven eight? Uh, I'll check it using calculator one minute. Nine forty two. Oh yeah, it's seven eight. First carry it was one, then carry was three, then carry was six. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Next seven four two into five two three. First, tell me from the this digit from unit digit. Uh, that is six. Six. No carry. Then. Yeah. And that's 12 plus 2, 14. So 4 and carry 1. 4. Yeah. Oh, 12 plus 4, 16. Yeah, sorry. Six one step you one. missed, your answer is gone. <laughs> carry 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. Carry 1. Then? Then uh, 7, 3, 21 plus 10 plus 8. So uh, that is 31, 39. Plus one forty, so zero and carry four. Zero. Oh. Six, six, mm -hmm. zero, carry four. Yeah. Then. So then eight and then carry three. Then eight and then carry three. Then thirty-eight. 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 Simple, right? Hmm. 
लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू फाइव सेवेंटी फोर क्रॉस एट थ्री टू लास्ट डिजिट इज एट नो कैरी फॉर नेक्स्ट इज फोर्टीन प्लस ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी सिक्स तो सिक्स एंड कैरी फॉर टू देन टेन प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस ट्वेंटी वन सो फिफ्टी थ्री प्लस टेन सिक्सटी थ्री प्लस टू सिक्सटी फाइव सो फाइव एंड कैरी फॉर सिक्स ओके देन एट इंटू सेवन फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड फिफ्टीन विद बी इलेवन सिक्स सेवेंटी वन तो सेवेंटी सेवन सो सेवन एंड कैरी फॉर सेवन या फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टी सेवन ओके या सिंपल यू आर टेकिंग लेस देन थर्टी सेकेंड बट वंस ट्राई विद दिस कन्वेंशनल मेथड इट विल टेक यू फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी सेकेंड्स ओके या मेबी सो इट It's simple one two uh one two three two one rule right one set then two set then three set then two set then one set okay hmm. okay so we are done with multiplication okay now next so what till now we have learned square multiplication addition subtraction now cube. Just I have told you that one to ten, one cube to ten cube, you have to memorize to first in your calculation. But yeah. what if after that, suppose twelve cube, what you have to do? Just listen to me very very carefully. Step one is last digits cube. Step one is cube of last digit up to. Three place, two cube means eight. Up to three place means zero zero eight. Simple. Yeah. Then step two is first digit. Step two is cube of first digit. Here is no restriction of places, so it's one simple, right? Yeah. So first you are getting one zero zero eight. Then what you have to do, you have to multiply twelve with, that means twelve into this twelve, this number twelve into one into two into three. That means six. Twelve into one into two into six. That means six into uh, two. Sorry, one into two into three. Right. This three numbers yeah. just written. One into two into three. That means six. Twelve into six, seventy-two. So we have to write seventy-two, not from unit digit. From this place will be vacant. It will be writing. We'll be writing like this seventy-two. Okay. One space okay. we have to leave vacant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then eight yeah. two seven one is the answer. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's it's a, a little bit more difficult, but. Uh, from one to ninety-nine, you can solve this, so it's a good method. Suppose forty. Suppose fourteen cube. That means first four cube. Four cube means four cube sixty-four. Sixty-four. So that zero, means six, zero six four. One yeah. cube means one. One plus one into four into three. That means twelve. Right. Uh, into four. fourteen also. Hmm. Twelve into fourteen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Fourteen into twelve. Uh, hmm. One into four into three. Twelve. Then simple. We will be using that method. Four into two, eight. Two plus four, six. Then one. One sixty-eight. Right. One six eight. So two seven four four. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then fifteen cube. Just tell me the answer. Fifteen cube. So five cube last digit should be one twenty five, and before that one, and this is fifteen into fifteen. So two two five five seven three three seven five. Three three seven five. Good. So, is this method good? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
let's practice some more questions to fasten your speed is you know it's not a you know a process of a single day if you practice at least uh, 30 minutes uh, every day 15 or 30 minutes every day to solving variety of these questions okay so then your calculation speed will be faster now every day from all this concept how will you get the question you can make your own and check in calculator otherwise you can use chat gpt just okay. Tell Chat GPT that you have learned this, this, this cube uh, square from uh, 1 to 125. You have learned Q from 1 to 99 and any multiplication. Okay. okay. Then uh, you can tell that uh, send me 30 questions and you can practice that. After that, you can ask Chat GPT to send the answers. So mm -hmm. you can match that. Okay. Yeah. A cube, try 21 cube. Nine to six one. Nine two six one. Nine to six one. Next, 52 cube. One four zero six two eight. One four zero six six zero eight or two eight. Two eight. Let's check it. Zero eight. Okay. Oh yeah, it's zero. Sorry, sorry. It's zero. One two five match it. One two five zero zero eight. Plus yeah, one five six zero. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you in the last section we have discussed the multiplication of two digits cross two digits, right? Yeah. And again, three digit cross three digit. But what if hmm. three digit cross two digit or two digit cross three digit? Then you have to just add zero, right? Suppose one two three okay. into fifty six. That means zero fifty six. Then same. Zero five. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now. Now, let's try to find some more instinct on calculating square root. Okay. Now we have learned square. But it's difficult to calculate square root, even for perfect square. For perfect square, there is a rule. Uh, there is a conventional method. But without moving your pen, you can tell me what will be the square root. OK? OK. Without moving your pen, I will be giving you just any perfect number. And you can tell me, you will be able to tell me that what is the square root. To learn that, mm -hmm. square root. To learn that, first, some basic things I'm going to tell you. Suppose 10 square, that means 100, right? 20 square means? 400. 400. 30 square means? 900. 900. 40 square means? 1600. 50 square means? 2500. 60 square? Three six double zero. Seventy square. Four nine double zero. Eighty square. Six four double zero. Ninety square. Eight one double zero. One okay. zero zero hmm. Now, I have written some squares. Now, oh. 20 to 30 or 20 to 39, this range is, we call it 20s, right? Yeah. For example, I am my age, I am in my 20s. 
Okay, mm-hmm. it's thirties. It's forties. Forties means forty to fifty-nine. Uh, forty to forty-nine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, suppose I have given you a number. You can classify that in which range it lies. Okay. From okay. that, you can get an instinct. It's the first rule. First, you have to uh, clarify the zone that in which zone it is coming. Okay. Yeah. Then we have to look up an unit digit. Suppose we are. I am telling you to root something, which unit digit is one. Then what can be its square root of that number? It should be one something one. Something or, unit digit one, or something hmm. digit nine. This square. Yes. Okay. That means one square hmm. means one, or nine square unit digit is one. Right. Yeah. Something if something end with four, then what should be its unit digit? Uh, two, two or eight, eight. Okay, that means two square means four unit digit four. Eight square means sixty four. That means uh, end up with four. Next something if uh six. Uh six and four, four. and six. Okay. If something is in nine, then then three and seven. Three and seven. Okay. Are you noticing any pattern? The possibility is multiply uh, addition is ten, isn't it? Yes. If unit digit is one, then end can be one or nine. You don't have to just memorize it nine into nine eighty one. If and one is one possibility is one, then another will be ten minus one. Okay. Yeah. This number you are telling me, you are telling me, just by calculating fast in your mind that eight into eight is sixty-four, then four will be there. Now you know that if the unit digit is four, then mm-hmm. any one if if you remember, then otherwise will be ten minus that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If something ends up with zero, and it's a perfect square, then obviously it will be zero. The number should contain zero. Yeah. If it's something ending up with five and it's a perfect square, then obviously unit digit will be five. Five. Yeah. If any digit ends with two, three, seven, eight, then it is not possible to have its perfect square root. Okay. Yeah. Perfect square root will never be if some digits end with two, three, seven, eight. Okay. Other all digits are there, right? Six, nine, one, four, zero, five. Okay. Now, now all of our theory portion is done. Now, what we have to do? I will be just giving a question and <clears throat> see. Suppose my question is root over one eight four nine. Now, it's uh, in which range it is lying? One six double zero to two five double zero. That means forty to forty nine, forties. So first digit will be four, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Forty. Okay. <laughs> Then unit digit has two possibility. Nine at the end is nine. So nine means nine means three or seven. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm-hmm. Three or forty seven. Now it's you okay. have to look at how much it's close. To, it is in forties. So is it closer to sixteen hundred or it's closer to twenty five hundred? If it's closer to sixteen hundred, the number will be smaller. If it's near mm-hmm. to twenty five hundred, then number will be larger, right? Now one eight four nine sixteen hundred eighteen hundred. It's closer to sixteen hundred. That means it is forty three, not forty seven. Okay. Yeah. See, I have yeah. just written the answer. Okay. now i will be telling you just the numbers you have to tell me just the answer okay sure first question 2916 okay 2916 is 5 54 54 simple so unit digit if its problem 
in this case you will have a little bit problem because four and six are very much closer so take very carefully the difference okay oh. this difference uh, hey, suppose here eight for 1849 so is it closer to 1600 is it closer to 2500 this difference is clear by assumption but if it would be 43 and 47 but if the competition is 42 versus 46 then their difference would be a little bit closer so we have to take a closer look on this case just we have to get a little bit more alert okay okay next question i'm writing in this page only so that you can try okay 7396 7396 Eighty six. Eighty six. See, just just seeing a number, you can tell me the square root. And what is the conventional method? Seven three one six then five two digit six I'm into six. Uh, <laughs> if you do this in an exam, then your time will be taken up by these silly calculations, which have no role in your concept, right? Yeah. Okay, now two nine one six and five one eight four five one eight four. Seventy two. Five one eight four. That's seventy two, right? Now six seven two four. Six seven two four. Okay. Eighty two. Eighty two. Three two four nine. Three two four nine. Okay. Fifty nine, nine. Uh, sorry, 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 fifty seven. Fifty seven. Okay, if it's if it is ending with five, then no confusion at all, right? Yeah. Five or zero, no confusion. But for others, there are two possibilities. Okay. So what if it is not a perfect square? Okay, it's our next concept. Square root of a Not of a number which is not perfect square. In so many questions, we have to just calculate the uh, calculate the. You know, if examiner thinks about the question, most probably mm -hmm. they will give you such. Uh, at the end of the day, the number will be perfect square, but it's not always right. So yeah. we will be getting just expectation value or inexact value, just expected value, not exact. Okay. Okay. And it is actually needed to mark one answer. Okay. After point up to one digit or something two digit, it will be giving you the um, good result. Okay, in perfect square, suppose, uh, in perfect square. Now, suppose, uh, take a very simple example, twenty seven. It's in perfect square, right? Yeah. What is the nearest lower? Uh, uh perfect square number 5 square right yeah. 25 is the nearest mm. lowest this number should not be more than 27 less than 27 and it's perfect square that is 25 it's a square of 5 isn't it yeah 5 plus 25 and 27 what is the difference 2 2 Two by double of this number, double not because this two, just double of this number. Okay, ten. Mm -hmm. okay. So, mm -hmm. answer five point two. Five point two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Suppose root forty, then nearest square is six square. Six. So in that case, six. Four by Plus. six. Set double of six. Yeah. Four by twelve. So. One by six point three something. 
6.33. It's 1 by 3. That means 0 0.33. So 6.33. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's a nice method, right? Yeah. Okay. Now root 87. Okay, nearest is 81. So uh, 9 plus 6 by 18. So again, 9.33. It's not the exact, but yes, 9 point something, mm -hmm. 9 less than 9.5. So this is enough yeah. to uh, solve one answer or get into one answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If it's a numerical, if it's a numerical answer type question, then this type of cube root of this type of something, they will not give this, okay? If numerical answer type, then after point up to two digit, two digit you have to exactly accurate, you have to make exactly accurate number. Okay. But when you have options, then this is a very, very good method, okay? Now, um, root one, five, two. Sorry, not, uh, huh, yes, root, root, root. Mm. Hello? Yeah. Root so, 1, 5. Uh, so that would be 12 plus 8 by 24. So 12.3, yeah. Then uh, 230 will be 15 plus 5 by 30, which is 1 by 6, so 15 plus 1 by 6, yeah. 15 point something what? Everyone knows 230, 15 point something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 15.16, uh, that five, means one, half six, of, six. one third means nearly about 33, right? One third means. Yeah. One mm -hmm. sixth means 33 by 2, um, that means one six something, right? One six something, yeah. Yes. Sixteen point five six. Okay. Okay. Just these are some little values. You should know one by three means zero point three three. You know, one sixth means zero point one six. Okay. Two by three means zero point six six. This yeah. is some little values. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's okay. Okay, we have practiced enough, right? Mm. I have a doubt. For example, mm. if I have a number like 141, mm. then what to do? Like, or should we take the nearest, like 12 minus? Not minus. minus I have tried with minus, but it's not giving good result. Okay, so we have to go for uh, 11 and 11. Yes. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay. Now, do you want to learn the cube root of perfect cube? Yeah. Yeah. It's again very much simple. Say, we just, um, we just look into unit digits. Suppose one cube something, that, is, that will be end up with one, something one cube, something one. So it will be end up with one. Unit digit is two, that cube. It will end up with eight. eight. Some three yeah. cube end up with seven. 27, so seven. Yeah. Four cube. Uh, four. Four, that means 64, four. Five cube, uh, five cube. Five. 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 Six cube. Six cube actually 216. Yeah. That means end up with six. Okay. Yeah. Seven cube is actually 343. 343. Then it will end up with three. Then yeah. eight cube, it's nothing but 500. 512. 
that means end up with 2 9 mm. cube and it will be 729 that will be 9 yeah. and 10 cube it will be 1000 so it will be 0 yeah. right so yeah. we have taken two set now it's so nice i will be thankful to mathematics to be so easy for cubes okay <laughs> see you what happens here if it's ending up with one then one if yeah. it's four then four mm. if it's five then five if it's six yeah. then six and six. If it's nine, then nine. If it's mm. ten, then zero. Simple. Mm. Yeah. What is yeah. the problem? If there is two, there is eight. If there is eight, okay. there is two. Oh. If there is okay. three, there is seven. If there is seven, mm. there is three. Okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah. there is just everything will be similar, but seven. If unity digit is seven, then cube root will be ending up with three. If unity digit is mm. three, then cube root will be ending up with seven. And two and eight similarly, okay. Mm, yeah. So let's try. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Question. One five seven four six four. Here it's cube root. What you have to do? You have to initially it when it was square root, then you are taking two digits. But here you have to take three three digits. Okay. So you have to take the nearest cube, lower nearest cube of this number. What will be this? Mm. Lowest nearest cube. Uh, Five cube no means one twenty five. Yeah. Six cube means two one six, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So five cube is the nearest. So first digit will be five. Mm. Second digit, okay. unit digit is four. Four, there is no yeah. problem. Obviously, it will be four. Mm. Isn't mm. it? Yeah. Okay. Next question. Cube root of five seven one seven eight four. Five seven one seven eight four. Okay. So five seventy one. Which is eight. Eight cube is five one two. Yeah, and seven so eighty nine. Nine. Four. 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 What was the last digit? Four. Four. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Next question. One two two five zero four three. One two two five zero four three. Mm -hmm. One two two five zero four three. Okay, so one, two, two, five. Okay. One, two, two, five. Eleven cube is, is one, two. three, one. As far as I remember. Yeah, fifteen cube. No, not fifteen. Eleven cube means one, Eleven. three, one. So ten. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Three means seven. Right. Three means seven. So one zero seven. Yeah. One zero seven. Two eight seven four nine six. Question: Two cube root of mm. two eight seven four nine six. Two eight seven. Two eight seven. Six cube means. Uh, six six and uh sixty six. Six six. You need it six means obviously it will be six. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes in question in options, um, if you look at just unit digit, then sometimes you get the answer. You, you get the right option. Okay. So before okay. doing this calculation, always try to look up on the unit digits. Fine. Okay. Maybe you will get yeah. your answer. But and again for a square root, and again, and again for a square root. If you know the range, sometimes with the range itself, the answer is getting solved. Okay. Mm. So it's not necessarily okay. always you have to get the actual figure, then you will reach the answer. Okay. Okay. In yeah. 100 question of set, in any exam, if you notice this from next, the, the test you will give, notice that in 100 after test, notice that in 100 questions, 
you will be getting at least eight to twelve questions, which no in where no calculation, complete calculation is needed. Only the unit digit, only the square, only the range. With the range, you can get into the answer. Okay. Mm. Suppose elevation of boiling point, something. Mm. So here are some little changes. Uh, uh, for elevation of boiling point. Suppose in some mm. questions, if you solve some questions about elevation of boiling point, you will notice that mm. the elevation is generally very little. 100 degrees Celsius, it increases 100, 300 mm. maximum. If in some okay. option it's 100, 10, 120, 130, it is not going to be the answer. Mm. Okay. So in many questions, this calculation, it will help you. And you have learned so many things. Uh, you have learned multiplication, addition. Addition and subtraction is very much simple. You have to just break it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't use mm -hmm. your pen for simple addition calculation. In next, whenever okay. you will do any calculation, just break them in your mind and mm -hmm. try to solve. Okay, fine. And what we have learned here, uh, multiplication techniques, normal multiplication, two cross two, three cross three, two cross three, three cross two, anything, any multiplication, mm -hmm. special multiplication mm -hmm. of one zero zero system, one zero zero one type system. Mm. Multiplication of nine nine system. Yeah. Multiplication of unit digit same. Uh, ten plus digit summation is ten, and mm. it's reverse case, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then cube um, cube square of all cases, right? Then square root yeah. and square root of perfect square and perfect cube. Okay. Mm. So that's all. I think this whole session will help you to faster calculation. Yeah. Okay. This will help you only when you will practice this. Unless and until in exam, your time will be wasted to memorize these things. You have okay. to practice this uh, in such a manner that by reflex, this get into your mind. Three cross three, mm -hmm. three cross three multiplication. Instantly, you should think that, okay, first one, then two, then three, then two, then one. Okay. If you Fine. practice a lot, then only with reflex, this calculation will trick into your mind. Otherwise, your mm -hmm. energy effort will be going to just memorize these things. Then this whole uh, class has no use. Okay. If you yeah. invest time to memorize this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I think this class has helped you. Have you any doubt? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay, then meet you in the next class. Thank you. Thank you.